Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be comparing the all new Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro to the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro to see what the differences actually are with these vehicles. Before we get in this video though, as always, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Toyota here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with this Tundra TRD Pro. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Mitch. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So starting out of the hood of the Tundra, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that is paired to a hybrid system and a 10 speed automatic transmission. Total system output is 437 horsepower and then 583 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 18 around town and then 20 on the highway. Now the Sequoia has the exact same powertrain. However, fuel economy is 19 around town and then 22 on the highway. So apparently it's a little bit more economical. And although the powertrains are identical with the Sequoia being smaller and a little bit lighter weight, it actually feels a little bit more potent inside of that vehicle compared to the Tundra. Before we go to the front ends, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting off with the Tundra, notice how it's raised there on either side of the hood and then you've got the TRD Pro accent piece right there and then taking a look at the lights really cool design pay attention to that little thing though below the lights because it's different than the sequoia we do have parking sensors on the front end and then notice we've got marker lights as well as the heritage toy logo with a light bar in the center fog lights just down below and then notice the camo here on the front end as well and then also look at the grill with the size and design now popping over the sequoia the hood looks pretty much the same as what you have on the tundra but notice with the little accent piece below the light how that's a little bit different but the light itself is shaped pretty much the same and then look at how there is this little cut out there in the bumper whereas in the tundra you don't have anything there and then with the grill itself you can see you still have marker lights you still have the light bar but the overall size and shape is slightly different. And then the fog lights are at like the bottom of the bumper here, whereas again in the Tundra, they're a little bit higher up. And then the biggest difference is gonna be ground clearance. So the Sequoia has 9.1 inches, whereas the Tundra has 10.9 inches. And you can really see the difference with them side by side. The Tundra sits significantly higher. Now, when it comes to tire and wheel setup with both these vehicles, it's actually identical. So it's 285, 65, 18 in the front and in the rear with the Tundra and with the Sequoia. They both have BBS forged wheels. And so, yeah, at least they got that the same, right? And then notice they both have the marker lights there on the fender flares again with more of that camo print. But you can see even with the fender flares that the Tundra is a little bit higher. And I think this is most apparent with the front suspension here. So you guys can see the TRD Tune suspension and Fox shocks that come with the TRD Pro here in the Tundra just like popping out. Whereas with the Sequoia, it, it's kind of hidden in there because again, the, the gap between the tire and the wheel well is definitely a lot less. Now both the trucks have little splash guards and then notice the Sequoia has these fixed side steps whereas the Tundra does not have any side steps. Now this Tundra has the smaller sized mirrors whereas the Sequoia has the trailer mirrors that actually pop out a little bit. They have an extend function which is pretty interesting. But notice the pillars blacked out with both of them and then you got orange roofs with both of them. And then with the Sequoia you actually have the whole like roof rack system there at the top whereas the Tundra, well it doesn't have anything. Now when it comes to suspension, we've got Fox shocks here in the rear with the Tundra, solid rear axle with multi-link in the back end, and the Sequoia actually has the same setup, we just can't see it. Well, you can kind of see the shock right there, but that's about it. And something else to note that's pretty interesting with the design, notice this line right here on the Tundra, how it cuts up, and then the Sequoia, you can see that it's got a similar cut that goes into the door, whereas in the Tundra, that cuts on the bed, it's not onto the door. So that's also another kind of interesting design quirk with them. Now taking a look at the key fobs, you guys can see that they're pretty much identical except that opens up a hatch in the Sequoia and that lowers down the bed on the Tundra. And this is where we will start to see even more big differences. So first off, payload capacity with the Sequoia, 1315, whereas with the Tundra TRD Pro, it's 1,355 pounds with how these vehicles are equipped from the factory. Towing capacity, however, is slightly different. With the Tundra, it can be right around 10,000 pounds, Sequoia, 9,000 pounds. So the Sequoia is a little bit less with payload and with towing capacity. And then obviously being an SUV, first off, we have this little window pop function, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And then we also have the hatch, It'll pop open as well. Again, this is a three row 
SUV. Um, now with the Sequoia, you guys can see here with the storage space behind the third row, and then you do have the third row kind of on this raised section here, which you can move it backwards and forwards with the little uh, lever right there. And then we actually have a full outlet here on the back as well. Um, but again, everything's closed off because, well, it's an SUV. And if you press that, that'll lower that back down. Whereas with the Tundra, being a truck, well, it has a truck bed. <laughs> so completely different uh, setup here, which uh, I think I left the truck locked. Okay, so actually I forgot this TRD Pro is currently in transport mode, and so I can't unlock the bed itself because it has to have some stuff done to it. That's why this is a walk-around review and not a driving review because literally can't drive the uh, Tundra. But trust me, there's a truck bed inside of this uh, truck, and again, big difference of storage. And then also you guys can see with the length. So I have the fronts relatively even, but then you guys can see here with the back tires, like look at how different that is so the wheelbase here on the tundra significantly longer and then overall length i mean like here like i'll stand at the edge of the sequoia and you can see the tundra goes on for quite a bit of distance so overall length is quite a bit more now what this leads to in terms of how it drives is the tundra feels bigger because it's higher up off the ground and it's longer and it actually drives a lot smoother compared to the sequoia i'd have to say the sequoia is still a very smooth driving vehicle but the tundra definitely feels more on the luxury side of things which makes sense because longer wheelbase you're going to have a smoother drive and then obviously we have the other design details like the taillights here on the Tundra and then you guys can see TRD Pro stamped into the tailgate and then we got more of that camo with the receiver hitch here in the center and then notice the exhaust tips poking out of the side here with the Tundra. Now compare that with the Sequoia, right? Everything's kind of rounded off like an SUV aesthetic but notice the exhaust tips actually poke out the back with the Sequoia so completely uh, different with that as well. And then popping inside of the Sequoia here, notice we have a sunshade here for the rear passengers, which is pretty cool. All of the red stitching here that comes with the TRD Pro package. And then we've got the seats here again with the red stitching camo in the center as well. And then stepping in, pretty easy to get in. Legroom back here is great. Headroom as well. Got a little storage pocket, some cup holder action. We've got climate controls down below with some USBs and a full outlet and this has captain chairs here in the back so there's no seat here in the middle and then we do have that uh, third row now with the third row you guys can see here that the floor has kind of raised um so leg room is interesting because your like legs are raised up a little bit in the back of the sequoia um but yeah let's uh, head from here to the tundra now with the tundra you guys can see the door panel is actually a little bit different in terms of how much stuff is padded with it um now the seats have the same exact design uh, with them and then obviously this is all you get with the tundra because it's a truck so <laughs> it's a five seater total three uh, across now when it comes to uh, legroom here in the back of the tundra i've sat in a tundra a ton of times it's actually pretty similar to the second row of the sequoia a little bit bigger in the tundra um, but not as much as you'd think now i just noticed this look at the door handles the coloration on those, that's also different. But anyways, popping to the front of the Sequoia, you guys can see here with the padding at the front and then with the front seats as well. And then notice we got this for like the light bar, for example, that's for the mirrors to extend them out. Um, steering wheel is manually adjustable and a lot of this is gonna be the same, so we're not really gonna have to go over all this again in the Tundra. So with the Sequoia, look at the steering wheel, got the marker there at the top, TRD at the bottom. And then I like the uh, golf ball texture inside. It feels pretty cool. We've got adaptive cruise control with this with our volume and voice command controls. And then full digital gauge cluster here in the center with the Sequoia, as you can see. And then you can go through some different drive modes. The drive modes in the trucks um, are the same with the multi-terrain select and the regular on-road drive modes. Because again, they're ultimately supposed to be able to do the same thing, right? 360 camera system. This will also be the same between the vehicles other than the fact that in the Tundra, it'll show a Tundra instead of a Sequoia, right? And then you even have like your off-road camera view as well, which is also kind of a cool thing added to the mix. Now, as for the rest of the screen, um, it's gonna be the same with both of them. So you've got this big uh, infotainment screen as you can see. And then down below, notice we have our climate there for the rear, um, dual zone for the front, heated and cooled seats for the front. And then we have this for like the trailer backup, your camera system, stability control, hazard lights, and then your locking differential for the rear. TRD shifter here for that 10-speed automatic transmission. Notice with our driveline select, it's got two-wheel high, four-wheel high, and four-wheel low. And then our drive mode select, our tow haul mode, multi-train select, and then your crawl control. And then look at the center console. Also pretty, pretty neat with that. Notice it says Twitter there on the dash. And then you can see here at the glove box setup, we do have a camera mirror. And then we've got our sunroof here at the top. 
And now popping over to the Tundra. So you guys can see door panel, like I said, everything's gonna look the same here. Obviously mirrors are different because this they have the different uh, mirrors on them. And then notice like light bar thing is in the same place, still have the manual adjustment for the steering wheel. And then with the seat, you can see it says TRD Pro on it. Cool looking pedals, both of them have the same pedals as well. And this door actually feels bigger than the Sequoia. Oh, also, they both have trailer brake controls in this area. Now, like I said, this is in transport mode, so it's gonna have a bunch of lights and everything flash. But I just wanna quickly show you, steering wheel, look at that. That is all the same, have the same digital gauge cluster, have the same camera mirror, big infotainment system. Like, look at all these controls here. Obviously, we don't have the rear climate in this one. Still have a locker in the rear, if you guys are wondering. And then, like, this is all the same in here. Even the center console, like, it's identical with both of them, even down to that. But something to note is this has a full panoramic center, so you get more center action here in the Tundra. And now that leads us into talking about pricing. So these Sequoia stickers for $80,000 is equipped, and then this Tundra stickers for $72,000 is equipped. With everything taken into consideration, obviously we do have to pick a winner for today's video. Now I know that I'm not doing any driving in this video, but I have driven both of these vehicles. I mean, the Sequoia is my tester for the week, so I'm pretty familiar with how it drives. And like I said earlier, the Tundra is definitely more comfortable with how it drives. Again, the longer wheelbase is going to play into that. Um, and with that being said, the vehicle I'm gonna pick as the winner is going to be the Tundra. It has more ground clearance. It is also less money and it's the same exact package. I'm not exactly sure why the Sequoia is so much more expensive compared to the Tundra. Again, $8,000 more money. I guess that's just the price you have to pay to go to the SUV uh, format compared to doing the pickup truck format. Um, but obviously if you're looking for a three row off-road SUV, then you're going to have to go the Sequoia route. But yeah, if it was my money, I'm going to go uh, Tundra TRD Pro. And I understand that the Sequoia might be better with certain off-road circumstances because it's a slightly smaller vehicle. But at the same time, with the Tundra having more ground clearance, it probably completely negates the smaller size that you have with the Sequoia. Or I guess you could say that the extra ground clearance of the Tundra negates the fact that it has, or sorry, the size of the Tundra negates the fact it has more ground clearance. I think I know what I'm saying. But anyways, let me know which one of these you guys would pick based on what you saw in today's video but yeah i'm going team tundra even though you know me personally i think the sequoia does look better than the tundra but like i just i can't i can't go against my uh gut instinct to go with the uh, value option but anyways that'll sum things up a huge shout out and thank you to the toyota here in murray for giving me some time with this tundra i really appreciate it check out the intro in the description down below i'll see ya